Hello everybody, this is, at the time recording, student Dr. Marcus, and today I'll be talking to you about the periodontal type of knot for ADEX. And here we have the ModuPro DH Baseline Refill Kit, model number MP underscore DH500 underscore BL. And the reason why this is baseline is because no simulated calculus has been applied to any of the surfaces prior to shipping to you. And as you can see, it comes with the maxillary arch and the mandibular arch. So here I have the maxillary arch and it is similar to the endo arch. If you have seen that before, where it has three different sections and each section can just be unscrewed. And here we have the teeth and under number nine there, you do see some calculus that I have applied prior to this video. And the gingiva is actually really nice and spongy like you can go ahead and actually get instruments under there. You can actually easily with the probe go about three millimeters. And again, there is about the simula simulated calculus that I have. And again, the depth is about three millimeters easily, but a maximum of five millimeters. And here we have the simulated calculus. It basically smells and acts like nail polish. So it usually comes in this bottle. Uh, you can actually buy them separately online with a few tips for about $30. But it does come with this kit, so I might as well just get the kit and not pay extra for all the similar calculus. And it does have a needle nose-like uh, extruder there. And basically, you just shake it up, and as I'm doing in this photo, and then you just go ahead and just squeeze the bottle out. I'm using the back of the box there. And it does take some time to harden, not too much longer. And if you want to fasten up the time, just go ahead and hit, hit it with the curing light. And of course, it does come with your standard accidental screwdriver. The tip of the screwdriver is magnetic. The one in my box was a bit weaker, so maybe it's just a defect there. But again, this does work for all accidental um, modules. So again, going back here we can just go ahead and unscrew this and just take a little bit of effort but not too much once you find the right rotation and again you just take out the screw be sure to hold on to it and then just slide down the right piece and then there you go so under there you can actually see all the teeth that is there and then you just go ahead and pull it out. And again, I did apply simulated calculus to this tooth. And as you can see, it's gonna have a smooth surface of, on along the root. But then you can act, but then you can see the, the DEJ. Yep, and there is number eight again, just showing how smooth it is. And you can just Put it back in so you normally just apply it to the tooth there. If you like a video of how I apply it to the tooth, feel free to leave that in the comments and I'll make another video showing that application. And just to let you know, it can stain the gingiva a little bit, the simulated calculus, but you can just go ahead and remove that with honestly just like with the air water syringe, just go ahead and blast it with both air and water and it should come out. And here is the mandible type of don. This is what you would be working on for the actual exam, either the lower left or the lower right. So for my mock board exam, I use the lower left. And you can see the issue with that is that it actually expanded the gingiva. So that's the one issue I would say about this unit is that once you actually start working on it, it's gonna show. And you know, if you work on it for tons and tons and tons of practice, it's gonna get stretched out. So now we're gonna pull out the tooth. So actually pass the mock exam for perio. And even though there is some simulated calculus below that I, mean, that I accidentally left, it is actually below five millimeters. So when the examiners went ahead and you know checked for all the calculus, it was gone, everything they could feel. And the reason why I have it there because my instruments accidentally kind of like left a little groove there that I can actually catch with the screwdriver. As you can see, that's just going from the side. And that's probably a good thing, because that's actually what you need to do in real life 
for me are scaling. You are creating uh, basically like a new line just to make sure the root surface is fairly smooth. So that's how you know that they will only check up to five millimeters on the exam. So if you stick in your pro five millimeters and you check to see it's all smooth, you are good. Because I remember I kept seeing a little bit of lines. I kept digging at it and digging at it. And I just had the most trouble trying to get everything out. So you don't need to actually go beyond what you can feel, which is would ideally be five millimeters. Now there is some staining from the simulated calculus uh, which I applied, but that is passable because again, it's only treated as staining and it's not as calculus or anything else that is still there. And again, if you want to really just scrub it out, you can just go ahead and take the floss. So again, this is similar calculus and it is done hardening. It only took about 10 minutes for it to harden, if that, maybe five. And I also thought the light cure. So you can, there, actually, you can see they're just like being rubbing off and it's now it is on my screwdriver and that's just a show. And here's a picture of the model. And the reason I have it here because it's actually kind of hidden on their website. And as you can see, it fits perfectly into the articulator. So you do not need to buy a second one. All right, thank you for watching this video. Please like it. If you did, comment your questions and then I will get to them as soon as I can. And then please subscribe so that you can be notified when I post my next videos about the DTX ADEX teeth.